Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our techies and this is Redmi Note 4 in my hand and the problem is that it's stuck on this blank screen. Basically in this video I gonna show you how can you fix this problem and this method will work on three different problems of Redmi phones that is Redmi stuck on MI logo screen, Redmi stuck on completely blank screen or it also helps you to flash Redmi Note 4 with the stock room. Yeah. So uh, just like when I turn on this phone, it's not getting on, it's completely on the blank screen. But when I uh, hold the volume down key and the power key and it's on mm, on this fast boot mode. So it's basically seems that it's a uh, typically uh, software problem. Uh, so I need to flash this phone and basically this phone is a locked uh, bootloader. So, so first of all, uh, download the flash file of this phone means the stock room of this phone from the official MI UI website the link is below the description you can check out the link there so check out the brand so here it is the, the model is Redmi Note 4 so I am now selecting the model of this phone that is Redmi Note 4 and this method will work on Redmi Note 4, Redmi 4, Redmi 4A to flash Redmi uh, Note 3, you can check another video below the description. The flashing Redmi Note 3 is very easy. You can check out there. And before that version, Redmi Note, uh, Redmi Note, uh, Redmi Note 4G. This kind of phones. That's also very easy. You can check out the description there. The, all links are there. So basically, download this. Uh, you require to download the fast boot file of this phone. Means fast boot update. Just. Uh, select the fast boot update and here now you can select the uh, uh, the model number of this phone that is redmi note 4 global means global stable version not the china stable version or global uh, developer version you require to download a global stable version of redmi note 4 or redmi 4 or redmi 4a whichever device you have so i am now downloading this uh, uh, redmi uh, a note 4 global stable version so and it's a qualcomm version so, yeah. so okay and this method will uh, not work for mediatek uh, phones which is launched in china or uh, who uh, imported the phones from other uh, chinese chinese market so that for that phones it will not work this will only work for qualcomm devices so the downloading has started that is media global image that is and now okay it's downloading the file and the downloading process will takes around 26 to let's say approx 30 minutes to download the complete file so okay now i'm back after that so i already downloaded the flash file and some other uh, files of this phone to, uh, which require to flash the phone that is uh, uh, the flash file mi ui mi uh, flashing tool MIPC suit for drivers and uh, the this is my uh, flashing tool and you require ADB drivers previously installed if you don't then you also install the uh, ADB drivers and this is uh, Xiaomi flashing tool and this is uh, the flash file which I copied on this folder and this is ADL uh, means a shortcut method to jump in the ADL mode so you can also uh, find the this uh, flashing image from searching on the search bar that is Xiaomi M flashing tool after installing that or you can also save it as a shortcut on the desktop so now uh, from where you need to download this web uh, these tools you can check out this uh, link below the description on the link just directly jump on the website site and you can download this uh, yeah uh, for redmi note 4 don't require to download this ADL fast boot means sort uh, the shortcut method will not work on the redmi note 4 that uh, means directly jumping the ADL mode will not work so you require to download only mi pc suit mi flashing tool and winrar so after downloading all the uh, stuff now the main uh, process is start that is uh, the flashing method so first of all uh, you required a a uh, required a sim card ejector tool and two uh two pins anything like uh, anything like uh, ironic or metallic uh, that can pass a current over there you require that tool and before that first of all open the back cover of the phone 
uh, if you have nail then you sharp nail then you can also open it from using your nail if you don't you can use any sharp object to open the back cover of the phone first remove the sim card tray and after removing that just simply uh, remove that very properly means very carefully remove it so I'm gently pressing over the corners so here it is okay now it's opening little bit and okay and it's not like redmi note 3 so the touch sensor is not connected with the back cover so you can easily uh, remove the back cover uh, just only removing the side covers uh, okay now it's removed so it's a very simple to remove that so there's no any other parts connected with the back cover right now you can easily remove it so it is uh, the phone after removing that it required the uh, any metallic uh, pin to connect uh, this two pins means uh, uh, you require to enter on the aerial mode so in to jump in the aerial mode of the phone you require to uh, soldering solder this uh, two points that is the first one and the fourth one of this five dot the first one and the fourth one you require to solder with a wire both this these two solder solder means sold out soldering with the any metallic wire if you if you don't have any that no problem i will uh, help you the second method to jump in the aerial mode basically uh, this is the hardware this is for the professional who have all the soldering machine to uh, to sold out that and now uh, to if you don't have soldering machine then you can simply uh, first of all you require to connect that and you can use this uh, two pins to connect uh, the phone into aerial mode so these two pins are very important so just uh, take the any metallic pin if you any any metallic to connect just simply you require to connect the uh, this any means sort these two pins and while sorting this while means touching these two pins you require to connect the usb cable to jump in the aerial mode it will automatically go your phone means jump your phone in the aerial mode and before that you require to turn on your pc on disabling driver signature mode yes you require to disable the driver signature mode of the pc to detect the phone in aerial mode so that's a very important part of that so must uh, uh, be careful about that so while connecting that simply while simply connect the usb cable and the phone will detect okay so it's not detected it's not detected right now so again remove the cable and and the very important part which i to, uh, forget to tell you that you re require to remove the battery connector also yes the pad you also re uh, require to remove the battery connector to jump in the aerial mode yes require to i already removed the battery connector so here it is again connect connect this two pin and now just connect the usb cable while pressing the two cable uh, two pins just insert the usb cable properly while connecting this yes. this is the only hard part while flashing redmi note 4 otherwise it's okay now it seems connected okay something like okay it's now connected on my pc that is uh, okay now here it is uh, it's already connected uh, now open the flash tool and there it is com 10 is written like that if anything something like written f w p have anything then don't uh, uh means uh, then it does not mean that it properly connected 
so after connecting just uh, if you did not selected your flash file then select the flash file of the uh, simply select the flash file and then click on the flash and the flashing process will start so here it is uh, you can see the qualcomm drivers here so that's it this is the total flashing method of redmi note 4 it's very easy now there is only one part is very hard to means connect that's also not very hard it's also easy you can connect it so that's it so if you uh, so let's uh, directly fast forward this video it will takes around uh, completely 20 minutes to flashing the whole uh, phone approx 20 minutes and after again uh, 20 15 to 20 minutes and after that again 10 to 15 minutes required to properly turn on the phone and you can uh, if you don't know how to if you confuse about selecting the flash file how to select the flash file you can simply select the flash file from uh, you, you say, uh, save your flash file to the desktop and select that folder only and just select over clear all and it will simple and then press the flash and it will start the flashing method and right now I am fast forwarding this video here it's uh, completely going fast and now my another camera is connecting okay here it is uh, the flashing process is going on here on the on my laptop here it is and this is completely with the uh, locked bootloader if your uh, bootloader is unlocked then there is no problem uh, you can easily flash that uh, uh, on the from the fast boot and if your if you if your phone is not unlocked means if your phone with locked bootloader then you can do this method you require to do this method to flash your phone so right now the flashing completely done it's success and now required to uh, connect the battery connector and after that just turn on the phone and the complete booting up process will take around 15 minutes and again fast forwarding this video right now and let's see okay now it seems completely on so now you require to uh, just uh, put the back cover again just uh, insert the back cover again fit it properly and gently and press it gently and it will tight the and also you require to insert the sim card with the means sim tray with sim card to properly activate this uh, phone so, yeah, that's in. Yeah. now I am connecting the sim card and it's sim connected now just simply select all these country languages all this you require to also sign in with the uh, connect your phone with the Wi-Fi just like iPhone all the setup of this redmi phones is like completely like iPhone and then connect it after connecting that simply you, you have two options you require uh, just first uh, after connecting the Wi-Fi you require to also activate this phone with uh, your MI cloud ID and password just fill up your password and then setup is you have two options setup as new phone or you can restore your previous all the apps all the data which you use on the previous phone i'm restoring my previous data so on now so and the all the other backups is downloading right now so it's completely running on and it's the blank screen problem completely fixed so here it is the setting and it's also updated to latest ami ui version that is 8.5.4 so here it is 8.5.4 so if you like my video then please click on thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks for watching this